treat yourself uh, to a hand and lip care kit that's full of healthy vegan ingredients. Courtney's standing by with a cosmetic chemist that's creating a boost in confidence. Yes, you know, a lot of times your, your skin is the most uh, expressive part of your body, right? Uh, so we've got our cosmetic chemist with us, uh, Ginger King, who's got some great tips on making sure that you put that first thing forward. And moms always tell us, Ginger, to make sure that we stay moisturized. I know my mom does. Yes, uh, it's very important to take care of our lips and also, also mom's lips because yes. mom use lips to educate us, right? Exactly. But before you uh, put on a nice lip uh, product, we suggest that you use like a lip a toothpick, I mean a toothbrush or even uh, tools to exfoliate the yes. lips because oh, yeah, if you lips. don't exfoliate, you cannot put on the dead skin layer. It won't be as effective. So usually I like to use the lip balm first to go all over okay. and then use the lip exfoliator to uh, apply over it to get rid of the dead skin cell. And if you do this at night, I would do this lip balm again before I go to bed. And so it's it like down. exfoliate and protect at the same time. Because you and pointed if out you do that, this, uh, that lips actually don't have sweat glands or natural Correct. Oils. Lips, they don't have sweat gland or oil gland. This yeah. is the reason why you have to uh, give the tender loving care. Uh -huh. The, you know, the chicken grease is not going to cut it. <laughs> so you have to use healthy ingredients. Yes. So use a very nice lip balm. It's and, not going to um, also, uh, I also prefer to use like a tinted lip balm because tinted lip balm is a little bit healthier than the traditional lipstick in terms of you can use like really, really natural ingredients. Very true. Okay. Now let's talk about the hands as well because you also need to exfoliate, um, you know, when it comes to your hands, not just around the cuticles, like the whole everything. Correct, because hands actually shows the signs of aging as well. Yeah. So before you uh, use any moisturizer, you can use uh, like a mitten to exfoliate it, or you can use an exfoliating scrub. Then you use a nice um, moisturizer. You can use a, a lotion. I prefer lotion because lotion ex absorbs quickly. Okay. Unless you have extremely, extremely dry uh, hands, then use a heavier cream or an ointment. I'm but so I glad. prefer lotion because it quick, quickly absorbs so you don't leave any grease mark everywhere. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we always talk about that little greasy fingerprints. I do want to ask you as a cosmetic chemist, I know that you mentioned that you like lotions. Can you rank, like, do you like, you know, between lotions, body butters, body oils, and then, you know, like the, the, the really light, like souffle creams? How would you rank those as your favorite? It's depending on your skin needs, because mm. if you have like a normal skin, you know, anything like a body souffle, actually I'm coming out with a product called the hand veil, which is very, very light. Okay. And um, then the souffle, then the cream, then if you are drier or in the winter time, you can even add a little bit of body oil yeah. to uh, the body. And if you're extremely, extremely dry, then you can use the body butter or an ointment. Got and depending it. on your skin type and okay. your needs. Duly noted. I, I'll be honest. I'm a fan of the body butter because I hate dry skin. Hate it. <laughs> Ginger King, you're amazing. Our cosmetic chemist. We're going to link all the details to our website. Uh, as she mentioned, she's got a, a wonderful lip product, and then she's coming out with that body veil. Uh, all that will be on our website, GoodDaySacramento.com, under show info and today's date. Ginger, thank you so much, and have a wonderful Mother's Day weekend. Thank you. You too. All right. Code back over to you.